All right, 2x times x squared minus 16 plus x minus 4. All right, so now here we're going to need to do a little work to figure out the LCD. So factor completely factor all the denominators, which in this case this factors into x minus 4, x plus 4. And this is x minus 4. So now we can figure out what our LCD is. All right, so how many different factors do we have? Well, we have two of them. Yes, x minus 4 occurs in both the first fraction and the second fraction, but it only occurs once, uh, and so we need one of those. x plus 4 occurs only in the first fraction, and so we need it as well. All right, so now we're looking at this. Whoops, I'm writing a 5. I'm not sure why I'm writing a 5, so x plus 4. All right, so the LCD is x minus 4 times x plus 4. The first fraction already has the common denominator, so there's nothing to do to the first fraction. We're just going to leave it as is. So we'd have 2x over our denominator x minus 4, x plus 4. But the second fraction has only x minus 4 in the denominator. So what do we need to do? To, to do to the denominator in order to uh, make it look like the LCD, well, we need to multiply it by x minus 4. And if we multiply the bottom by x minus 4, I'm going to write a little differently this time, then we need to multiply the top by x plus 4. So this time I'm just going to kind of skip a step that we had a minute ago and write it like such. Everybody see how we multiply the top and bottom of our first fraction here by x plus 4 over x plus 4? So now again, we see that the denominators are the same. So we can write this as this numerator plus this numerator all over the least common denominator. Yeah, these problems are, uh, are long. They can, be, uh, they can take up quite a bit of paper. All right, so now the uh, numerator we can distribute out and combine like terms. Does that go to 4x all over our LCD? Start get writer's cramp after a while. All right, so now does uh, the uh, numerator so what's that up to? x squared plus 6x. All right, so that goes to x squared plus 6x all over our LCD, x minus 4, x plus 4. And we can factor that numerator by taking an x out. And that leaves behind that. Well, all we're looking for at this stage is to say, hey, are there any common factors? And there are no common factors to divide out of the top and the bottom. So we are done. All right. I'm starting to get the hang of it. All right, let's do one more. All right. X squared plus, excuse me, X over X squared plus 11X plus 30. All right, uh, minus 5 over x squared plus 9x plus 20. So let's factor these denominators. So this is going to go to x plus 5 and x plus 6. And this one's going to go to x plus 5 and x plus 4. All right, everybody cool with that? All right, so then what would be the LCD? Well, how many different factors do we have? Well, we have in the denominator, we have three of them. We have x plus 5, even though it occurs in both fractions. It's only occurring once. We have x plus 4 occurring, and we have x plus 6 occurring. All right, if you write it this way, now we can figure out what we need to multiply top and bottom of each fraction by. So this first fraction, we need to multiply the top and the bottom by x plus 4, that's right. So we'll have x times x plus 4 over our LCD, 
x plus 4, x plus 5, and x plus 6 minus. Top and bottom of the second fraction, we need to multiply by x plus 6. all over our common denominator. Alright, and then we uh, combine the numerators. Alright, so we've got x times x plus 4 minus 5 times x plus 6. All in the numerator. And the denominator this long denominator, x plus 5 and x plus 6. Now here's a common error. At this stage, I've seen students go, well, let's just uh, cancel out the x plus 6's and the x plus 4's, because you know, there's common to the top and the bottom. And you're left with x minus 5 on the top and x plus 5 on the bottom. But you cannot do that because this is not all multiplication in the numerator still a subtraction. It's this product minus this product, and that's not factored. So we don't, don't get to just cancel out the x plus 6 and the x plus 4. Very common mistake. Be very, very careful. Uh, so instead, we're going to distribute and combine like terms. That's always the plan. All over our LCD again. Okay. Now, what can we do in the numerator? What does that go to? X squared minus X minus 30 all over our LCD, which I know you guys are getting tired of writing, but that's just the way it goes. Math's not always done in just two steps. All right, so now we see what can we do with that numerator, because it factor, factors into x minus 6 and x plus 5. Everybody see that? All right, and now we have everything in the numerator written as a product, everything in the denominator written as a product. In other words, we've completely factored the numerator and the denominator. And now we can look for common factors. And we say, ah, oh, there's x plus 5 on the top and x plus 5 on the bottom. So then, I'll bring my little arrow over here. We can uh, I'll show you how that works. We can say, all right, you and you are gone. So what does that leave behind? That leaves behind x minus 6 all over x plus 4 times x plus 6. And we say, yay, we're done. That was a long one. All right, so study well. Hope that made sense. Please let me know if you have any questions.